Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So a quick bit about me before I begin. I'm a seer, so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic medium and a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through, comes through in these messages. So I must let you know though, if you've been guided to my channel, you could be a twin flame because I'm a twin flame myself and all my messages are twin flame related at the moment. So hello, and I really hope you find the answers you're looking for here. Um, sorry, my daughter's blow drying her hair, so the hair dryer in the background. So before I begin all my readings, I start the same way. I call in protection for myself and for you watching at home. And let's do that now. And then I'll fill you in on what this message is hopefully going to be about tonight. I call in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light, and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you now for your love, guidance and clarity throughout this message for the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times? Thank you, Archangel Michael. Can I also ask you to surround whoever watches this message online, surrounding them, their loved ones, their home and pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you so much, Archangel Metatron. Thank you all for being here, for your love, light, guidance, protection throughout as I bring forward this message to the Twin Flame Collective. And so it is. Okay, let's clear the energy. I wasn't sure if the chime was still going, but just a hair shine. <laughs> I wasn't too sure. So tonight's message is simple. All I heard today was, I heard some other things, but I think it's more kind of past life stuff coming through. And I got some um, cards. Um, I heard, what message is, just when you're about to give up, I'm coming back. Just when you're about, you're about to give up on me, I'm coming back. Now, I don't know who that's for. I'm guessing it's a masculine. And if it's a, I, I also saw like um, a ticket counter, like a train station. So someone could be buying a train ticket or something. So yeah, let's see where we go with this. Um, I haven't got very many decks out here tonight. So we'll check and see. I've got some past life cards if that's where I'm called to go. I might just wait and do a past life reading tomorrow night. Because I quite like to do one on Saturday. So let me see. So I've, I've just used some archetype cards tonight. And then I've got a few other cards here. And thank you everyone for all your beautiful messages. Um, all your comments, all your likes. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for all the wonderful emails. I am so reading through them and replying to them all. Thank you for sharing your stories with me. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for all the love and light you bring to my channel. And it's funny because... Um, I've been noticing the last couple of days more and more people, including lovely Jules um, Richardson from the comment section. She always comes in and, um, lovely Jules, she, she comes in and tells us what songs I'm picking up on and tells us the artist and everything. And she's now saying as well that she feels that she doesn't need to watch any more tarot readings, which is a win for me. It's an absolute bonus, but I will of course miss her beautiful divine energy in the comment section. But she still keeps in touch by email, which I'm very grateful about. Um, but anyone who says to me they don't need to watch tarot readings or they don't need to watch my channel anymore, I love that. I'm sorry, I know that sounds so weird. But really, I'm doing this not to make people um, more addicted to watching tarot readings. I'm hoping that these readings push you towards seeing things from a different perspective about your twin flame journey. And so many of you have emailed me and told me that it's done that and you now feel stronger, you feel more rest assured, 
you feel more capable to move forward. You don't even feel the need to watch reading very more things. And that, for me, is a huge bonus. And I'm so delighted. But I've also noticed the more people that's telling me they're hearing from their person in the last few days and they're feeling more confident and happy in their twin flame connection. I'm feeling more and more evil eye coming in at me. So I know I must be doing something right because when, you know, when I'm starting to feel more negativity from karma energies and things, I know that I'm doing something right. So I'm just going to keep going. And thank you to everyone who shares your lovely, wonderful news with me. I'm here to be a champion of love for everyone. Even those who don't, who don't send it to me, I try and pray for you all anyway. So. So let's do it. Let's see. So someone here, I just know someone has said, someone has said, just when you're about to give up on me, I'm coming back. So let's see. Can you tell me a wee bit about this connection that I'm picking up on here? Networker. So when I get this card, this is someone who can be, can be quite busy, always running around, trying to please everyone. This I, Sometimes I can get people pleaser of this. So we could be dealing with someone here who was too busy trying to keep everyone happy, was too busy, you know, running from um, A to Z, not stopping to really take take much time out to consider you or your connection with them. But this is, right, that's too many. Give me 10 cards here. Um, so let me see. Why a networker card, please? This definitely could be a people pleaser. Because as soon as I saw that card, I thought people pleaser, which is genuinely a good sign. <laughs> I'm, I'm connecting with someone who's a people pleaser. Why the networker card, please, for this energy? Right, now this person, how's that for a contrast? This person was in this energy, pleasing everyone, running around, trying to keep everyone happy, probably family, um group friend groups and things maybe whatever their work was whatever their job was they were yeah my nose is itchy so it definitely could be to do this person maybe was so focused on some sort of career here they were maybe spending a lot of time at work but there this was someone who was running around and not stopping to try and think about their connection with you but now we have the hermit so this person has been made to stop now there could have been some sort of terror moment here i don't know But somebody has been brought to a standstill. And it's making them have to ponder on their connection with you. Now, this is someone you may have given up on. Okay. So, artist and victim. So, now, this, this can tell me one of two things here. This masculine feminine could have been a victim here of something that um, went on in the past. Now, a victim doesn't mean to say you were, there was anything, it just means that maybe you were victimised or this person, um, this person maybe wasn't very, I'm trying to think of the right word, wasn't very supportive to you when you needed something, you needed assistance from them. But this can also be this person is now feeling like a bit of a victim for the choices they've made regarding you and this connection. Now, if say this is someone that you could have given up on, artist. So this person could definitely, um, they they may not have taken. They, they could be an artist of some kind, or you could be feminine. But this could be someone who's now kind of trying to spend time doing art now they're in isolation because I do feel this person's in isolation. Yeah, somebody here is somebody here is an artist. Now it could be you feminine or it could be this masculine. I'll get the past life cards as well. No, somebody's definitely using oil paints or something here. Because I keep on seeing like a palette with oil paint on it. So it could be this masculine now that he could be feeling a bit of a victim for something that happened here. <laughs> All right. So 
this masculine definitely could have some sort of artistic flair here. They could definitely be in this could have been someone who who is quite a well-known artist. Now the, I wrote down something earlier in my book. And I think it was something like illustrious career. Oh, I saw a corgi as well. I don't know if someone's got a corgi. <laughs> like a dog, like a corgi, like what the queen has. And I heard Pythagoras, so this could be somebody, somebody with sort of Greek descent. Um, Sebastian. The name Sebastian could mean something. Star child. Somebody who's definitely a star seed, star child energy. I've got illustrious career, either about to have an illustrious career or had an illustrious career. So this could be someone who was a night worker, who was an artist of some kind, but they were also a dawn man. <laughs> but this person is now in hermit mode. So this could be someone you gave up on because of their kind of Don Juan ways. Um, they could be the sort of um, very charming artistic type, um, but they now feel they now feel like a victim or they feel like they made you a victim. Can you tell me why victim's here, please? Why is victim here for this, this masculine energy? I just keep on hearing you saying, just when you give up on me, lover. All right, okay. Lover and vampire. This masculine was dealing with, uh, a, a, yeah, a distorted feminine of some kind. They were in some sort of connection here with a distorted feminine. And now they feel like a victim. You could have walked away from this person, put up your boundaries. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoever I'm talking to here, the feminine that's connected to this masculine is a very pure hearted um, person. Very kind, loving, pure soul. Definitely stand in your light, and with the visionary card tells me you have some sort of psychic gift. So very Queen of Cups energy, kind, compassionate, very generous to others with your time and energy, very loving, but also very psychic. Um, as I say, you could have some sort of gifts yourself. Um, that this person could have. Um, now I feel like this person has gifts themselves, and but they're only just figuring it out now in hermit mode. Um, they could have. I'm trying to think of the right word. They could have discredited you in some way, like your gifts or something like that. They could have, they could have made some sort of joke about you having gifts or something like that. They might not believe in it. Um, although Pythagoras did believe that the soul was immortal, so um, maybe this masculine is now seeing things from a different perspective. As I say, I just keep on hearing just when you're about to give up on me. That's what he wants you to know. So, Feminine, if you're just about to give up on someone, engineer. So, this masculine is very intelligent. He definitely is very good at networking and he's very artistic, but he's also, the engineer card tells me he's very intelligent. He can maybe, he can maybe build things. Now, he could be artistic in the fact that mentor, this masculine could be seeking a mentor right now or working with a mentor or this masculine could be about to become some sort of spiritual mentor for others. Right, I'm looking at this virgin card as I'm looking at the card mentor. So feminine, you could have been this masculine's muse for his awakening. <laughs> Child eternal. Right, you're making this masculine... You're making this masculine start to see life through childhood wonder again. This, this masculine could have been very stuck in a very materialistic bubble here if he had an illustrious career. So we could be dealing with someone here who was in the public eye or maybe is about to be in the public eye more. But you are... <laughs> You feminine are making this masculine, you're his mentor for making him start to see things in a more beautiful way. You're, you're making him feel playful and young again. There could be some age difference here between you and your masculine. Um, He could be older than you. I'm saying he, just reverse it if you have to. <laughs> Reminds me of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. The Prince and the Thief come out. 
So this could have been someone who who is dealing so they're an orphan as well in the bottom. So this is someone who could have felt like he was um entitled, maybe because he felt like he he maybe felt he was quite entitled. Or somebody somebody took from this masculine under the guise of being I'm trying to think. This is now I think this is print in reverse. Mm. Yeah. Self yeah, so it says self, um, I, I can't understand that word, self ingratiatement, using power for self. So this masculine may have, he's always got some sort of childhood wounds going on here, um, but he almost like used his status to... <laughs> He could have been, he could have had some sort of side hustle here with this vampire love energy. You know, they could have had some sort of side hustle together because I'm getting that this masculine feels like a victim now. <laughs> Fool. Gambler. Rescuer. So this masculine took some sort of risk here. He took some sort of risk. He took some sort of risk hoping that he would get some sort of positive outcome, hoping that maybe he felt like you would always come to his rescue feminine or maybe he he took some sort of gamble. Um, I'm trying to think of the right word I'm looking for. He took some sort of, yeah, he took some, he was wearing some sort of mask. He took a big risk here. Now maybe he he thought that he was doing the right thing by protecting another energy here, or this tells me he thought that maybe the risk would would be worth it because you know you would always be there to to help him, to catch him, to rescue him. Because I do feel, Fen, when you have you have I'm gonna say say save this matter from something now. I don't know how dark this goes. It could just be saving him from, um, saving him from himself eventually. But there's something here. Yeah. Shapeshifter. I do feel this masculine was dealing with a shapeshifter. This masculine could have been in some um, karmic energy himself, while he was with this lover as well. Saboteur. Yep. Avenger and athlete. So this masculine, this masculine, um, is coming back here stronger here now. This tells me this masculine is now wanting to, he's now wanting to go the distance. He now wants to show you that he's changed, that he's willing to, he's willing to come back from this energy. Now I, I don't believe this masculine was his his self when he was with this this distorted feminine. I feel like. Um, there was some, uh, he was wearing a mask due to maybe childhood wounds or something, but I don't think, I don't think you've seen this true masculine yet, is what I'm saying. If he was with a karmic energy when he was with you now, I'm going to say this with all clarity, okay? A lot of the times Divine Feminine, especially in Twin Flame Connections, become the third party because this masculine still has some sort of cycle with this distorted feminine. Um... And if what could have happened here is this masculine to put you in a third party, but then that's kind of like you infringing on the contract he has with this other connection. So whatever this feminine I'm picking up on, whoever this sort of pure energy here, um, you have set some sort of boundaries with this masculine and you, you, I feel like you, you, you could have given up on him. Now, 
scribe and seeker. So this masculine could be journaling, he could be working on a project or you're working on a project feminine. You could be about to write a book or something. You could be a seeker of knowledge. You could be researching things or somebody could actually be researching healing techniques and angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be researching angel numbers, healing stuff right now. Somebody, somebody, somebody could be writing, about to write a book about something like that, angel numbers, healing. This could be you, feminine, or the masculine. Mm -hmm. This masculine was throwing weight to all the wrong things. Like, I mean, he was putting his, his, all his time and energy into the, all the wrong things. Like, he was working hard in all the wrong areas of his life. But he's now in hermit mode. Tell me what this... So, okay. <laughs> Feminine, you saved this masculine from his own demons. You you basically freed this masculine from his, his demons. This this masculine um look, you're a liberator of this masculine, you freed them from something. This masculine is some sort of high priest energy. Can you tell me, um, is this masculine now free? Is this masculine now free of this karmic energy while he's going through? I was hope <laughs> I was hoping you'd see the God card because I felt the masculine's working with God. But look, mystic as well. This masculine is some sort of shaman that's coming, yeah, and there's child of nature and, and rebel. Yeah, he's now he's now rebelling against everything that he thought he knew. Everything this masculine thought was was um true of what he should be doing in life. You know, like everything he maybe got brought up to see that, you know, all you, the more women you get, the more kudos you get, you know, the more this, this was a masculine who had all the wrong intentions and he was putting his energy into all the wrong things. Um, he definitely had to close out a cycle with this distorted feminine. Yeah, father and healer. So he could be a father as well. He could be a single dad now. I do feel, hold on just, I just want to double check, he is, yeah, he's feminine, he sees you as his, his muse, his mentor, you're making him see things from a different perspective, but I feel like you, you have given up on him, gossip, yeah, he's, he was listening to all the wrong things here. I feel like you giving up on him is what's pushed him to better himself. Like you going, you know what, I deserve better than this. I deserve much better than what you can offer me because I feel this feminine is a beautiful, pure, hearted energy. Definitely got some sort of um, psychic abilities. Could be a, a um, clairvoyant or something. I do believe that you're some sort of healer as well. You showed this masculine something you've never been shown before. You showed this masculine the difference between superficial love. Just sorry, I'm just stopped when I saw the mother card and the vampire card. Yeah, you showed them this masculine the difference between superficial love and unconditional love. He could have some sort of um, mother wounds as well because that's why I feel like he he associated love with all the wrong things. Um, you know, like his mother might be quite superficial. I'm not saying she doesn't love him or anything like that, but she, he, he could, his mother could be quite materialistic and put too much focus on all the wrong things. I, honestly, in my head, I wish I'd said it a minute ago because when I saw the Prince card, I thought he's moving up from that energy. And then there's a king in Samaritan. And there's Hermit right behind that. 
and Messiah. So this masculine is going through some sort of powerful spiritual awakening right now. He's definitely, yeah, he's an artist of some kind. He's working with a spirit guide who's with him all the time here. So this could be a very powerful um, spirit guide who is with him 24-7, pushing him in the right direction, helping him clear out, clear out any kind of karmic cords, karmic debts, closing out karmic cycles with this distorted feminine who's some sort of, I feel like she leeches off his prosperity in some way. So like if he is like, if he's had an illustrious career, so father and servant, yeah, if he's got kids with this lover, she's definitely, she's definitely making him, she's, ch she's chained him down, um, but this can also tell, this also, I'm seeing this from a different side of things now as well, he could also be a servant to the father, to the godfather, he could be a servant of God, he could he could because i'm just looking at the cards here king samaritan guide hermit messiah artist father and servant he could literally be a servant of god he could be serving his father he could be a, he's definitely a king as you hear him right behind that is a queen So this is a powerful, this is some sort of powerful connection. Yeah, the prince is there again. This masculine is definitely some sort of, um, <coughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's now coming in romantic. <laughs> he's transforming. He's transforming. You're about to give up on this person. And just when you think, I may as well go alone. My, my twins are never going to come back. They're stuck in toxic karmic cycles. I just saw King and Femme Fatale. So this could definitely be um, a karmic, a distorted feminine from past lives here. Who was here just specifically to keep this masculine from going through his awakening um give me a couple more please is this masculine definitely going through some sort of is he transforming right now is this oops is this masculine transforming right now is this masculine going through some sort of transformation Midas athlete yeah he's dead look he's working on himself right now this masculine's he was putting all the he was putting all his energy into all the wrong things before he was pushing himself to excel in all the wrong areas of his life um he's this tells me he's working hard he's trying to achieve something here he could be trying to achieve some sort of um lucrative financial status to come back to you feminine he's he's um Putting in the hours, he's putting it, yeah. Child, I've, I kept getting the child from nature. This masculine is very divine, very magical, but he's also very connected to the outdoors as well, connected to nature. I'm just getting a powerful um, sort of energy healer, shamanic healer energy from him. A powerful spiritual warrior as well. Um, hero or heroine, yeah, this masculine is definitely... <laughs> I'm now hearing that song um, by Nick Inglesias. You know, I can be your hero, baby. So this, this masculine knows they've let you down. <laughs> Addict. You help this masculine get rid of something here. Now this could have been... Uh, I mean, you, you have literally... You have literally helped this masculine to blast his demons away. Now, you don't have to have been doing anything with them in the 3D to do this. If you've been healing yourself and loving yourself and focusing on your own self-healing and your own self-journey, now, that, that is ultimately what heals your masculine. The more you 
heal on your heal on yourself, love on yourself, nurture yourself, give yourself all the love and care and respect, everything that you want other people to give to you in a relationship. That is what heals the other half of your soul. And I think in doing that, you've so stepping fully into your light and being a, such a pure hearted energy, you've definitely pushed this masculine to do the same. Um, had this feminine pushed this masculine to, to better his life? <laughs> yes. Yes. You are this person's angel. You're both earth angels. I feel that. But you have been this person's angel. <sighs> you, I am just picturing somebody like an explosion of light. And I, I know this vision very well myself because when I feel like I want to ward off any negativity, I picture myself, and this is a good tip for anyone, I picture myself in this beautiful golden bubble of God's light. But I picture anything that comes towards it, any black arrows, any negativity at all. I picture them hitting off the golden the golden dome of light I'm in, or the golden bubble of light I'm in, and I picture them transmuting to white light and going into the ground. And I, I picture little shoots of green coming up from the ground, so I, I literally transmute the negative energy and I transmute it into um, white light that goes into the earth to, to nurture the earth. And but also that's what I do if I want to clear away any negative energy. I picture like a big blast of white light around me and just blasting all the darkness away. And I feel you've done this with this masculine feminine. You have literally almost blasted. I keep doing that with my hands. So you it's almost like you've blasted the darkness out of them. And it's whatever you've whatever healing you've done for yourself that's done this. You're about to give up on someone here and they are going to come in charging like a knight on their steed to be your hero. <laughs> you are an advocate of God, feminine. And I actually just want to start crying. You are God's advocate. And this masculine is as well. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness, you're both powerful advocate and there's a prince card again. <laughs> I'm, and I keep on hearing Prince of Peace because I, I see that in my morning prayers as well. Mighty God, Mighty Counselor, Heavenly Father, Prince of Peace. So this masculine definitely, wow, this is a powerful masculine. He's very powerful, feminine, but you are just as powerful because you completely blasted, <laughs> you blasted the darkness out of this masculine. <laughs> oh my goodness, like, like a Dyson Hoover, just like, ooh. You've, you've done, um, honestly, feminine. I'm high-fiving you through the virtual world, monk or nun. So I'm going to get the, I'll quickly get the past life cards here. So you could definitely have been some sort of um, holy man or woman. Didn't I say this mask is riding in like a knight to be your knight in shining armour? Prince and knight. Yeah, this mask is coming in to be your, to be the Lancelot to your Guinevere. And I have been getting a lot of Avalon energy the last few days as well, which is strange that I'm coming up with a knight um, analogy as well. So, oh my goodness, I just feel so emotional. <laughs> So, so slave and scribe again. This person could be about to write, some of them could be about to write a book about how they were enslaved by some sort of um, past life karmic energy here. Somebody could be about to write a, bo a book about this. <laughs> and there's a Don Juan's back. We'll let him away with it because he's no longer in the Don Juan energy. He's now an athlete. He's now an athlete who's working hard. He's working hard on himself here. He's putting in the effort, he's putting in the energy and time. Yeah, he's he's practicing. He's yeah, he's he's driven, he's focused. And it could be on this goddess energy that 
child magical. You could be this pure goddess energy and I'd look, wow. I do look what I just split the deck on. God and goddess. <laughs> wow. Tingle, tingle alert. Wow. Yeah. Nightworker again. Yeah, now there's could be an Elush in healer. This couple could be about to have a really beautiful healing experience with the world, just being networking with throughout the world as well. I've got my Gateway of Light cards here. Now I know why I'm picking up really powerful energy. Um, I'll get some past life cards in a moment. Let me just get um let me get some zodiac signs here. Look. Music and art. Music and art is important here. Definitely important. Art definitely is important. This couple are per yin yang. Yeah, this is I'm telling you, this is union. This is union. And I I keep saying it. I I have been saying even tonight before I get in, <laughs> tonight before I was getting in my shower, I just kept on thinking unions are happening now. Unions are happening now. There's unions happening right now. As I'm putting out this video, unions are happening right this minute. This, honestly, March, I feel, today's the 1st of March. March is the start of what is going to be some incredible twin flame reunions. I feel it. And even just from the messages I've received um, yesterday and today from people who are saying they're hearing from their people and they're hearing from their person and things. So Scorpio could be could be significant as could Cancer energy. Let me see. Can I get some zodiac signs that could be in the chart of the the twin flame couple I'm picking up on here? Yep, Cancer, definitely. Any other signs, please? <laughs> Divinely guided, highly protected. I feel that, especially this feminine. Feminine, you have changed the whole dynamic of this twin flame connection. Libra. Aquarius. I can be your hero, baby. So I just keep on hearing that song now. So, eternity symbol. And again, this is, this is the year of eternity. This is the year of Honestly, union, strain, power, infinite love and, abund and abundance for twin flames. And honestly, when these twin flame connections come in, we are going to feel, we're, go we're going to feel amazing. All of the collective is going to feel amazing. Even people who aren't twin flames are going to feel amazing around these twin flames. And I feel that when when these twin flames start coming together one by one, it's going to be like a domino effect. This is beautiful. Ten ten. So there is a new. Sa I was waiting when this Sagittarius card would pop out. So ten ten. So there's definitely a new beginning coming in here, a new cycle for this couple, and I do feel it's right when this feminine goes. I may as well just move on myself. I may as well just move on. Aries and Sagittarius definitely could be significant. So somebody who's Aries or, or Sagittarius in their chart, Gemini could be significant as well. That's just a card of communication. There is a beautiful positive outcome here on the horizon. I mean, look at these sunflowers. And I saw so many spirit animals today. So I saw a stork, I saw a ladybug, I saw the grasshopper, which is leap of faith. It's also abundance, I saw the the, I saw a ladybird, which is also luck and good fortune. Um, the stork is all to do with immortality, but also new beginnings. New beginnings being delivered by the, the divine. Yeah, there's a beautiful happiness coming in here at Leo. So that's all three fire signs. So somebody could have quite a lot of fire in their chart. So Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer. This is just some of the signs um, that could be pre problem prominent. <laughs> I'm trying to say prominent and prevalent at the same time. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
yeah, look, manifestations are coming in. Manifest if you've manifested your person reaching out to you, feminine, but do you know what? I don't actually feel you have. <sighs> this is exciting. I feel so excited. There's I don't think you've manifested this person reaching out to you, feminine. I will not deliberately. I feel that you have just walked away, focused on your own your own mission, your own spiritual journey. I mean, and this is what has brought in your manifestations. Whoever this feminine is, I salute you. I salute you, sis. I salute you. Big up the divine fames. <laughs> but yeah, powerful. But there is a lot of fire in someone's chart here, or you could both have a mixture of Aries Leo Sage in your chart. Some Cancer energy, the sea, Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. So a lot of air, a lot of fire, and some water there as well. But that's all the signs are coming out. What's this? A conversation is going to come in here, which is going to heal this love. Whatever talk. Now, this could be someone, as I say, this could be someone you're just like, Do you know what? I'm never going to hear from them again. I'm never going to hear from them. They're, they're too busy off being this, that and the other. And then you're going to get a message asking you to talk. And that is going to change everything. It is literally, and look what's in the bottom of this deck. Love. Love life from a past life. Um, that is going to literally change absolutely everything for your connection here. Um, can I get some past life cards for this connection I'm picking up on here? Cause let's see what, what could have happened in past life that could have gotten the way. I definitely feel there was a karmic involved. Um, who, as I say, has been here in this lifetime to try and put a stop to you guys. Because when you guys come together, now definitely someone's a writer here. Someone's about to write about their experiences on their twin flame journey, without a doubt. Somebody's about to write here about their experiences. Um, anything else for this couple, please? Now, so this person could love a change. These two could be about to write their love story from past lives here. That's moved, I'm getting tingles down my spine. Uh, that this couple could be about about to write their love story through all their past lives. Wow. Wow. Honestly, am I um and there's a lot of Kundalini energy within this twin flame connection as well. I feel that too. Um well yeah this they that they're coming back. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad this card came out because it reminded me about my vision. So hold on till I read my vision to you earlier. <sighs> right, so I'll, the cards, I'll tell you the cards that come out and I'll read my vision, what I saw earlier. Trust and faith. This couple have always been highly connected to God and they've always trusted in God and the divine to bring forward what's meant for them. Now, I feel like in past life, somebody has always gotten away with this connection, but they've always had trust and faith they're going to come back together. So, wisdom. This couple have very, very high dimensional wisdom between them. So, this is 9D and above. You know, this is connecting with star ancestors. This is having a very powerful connection to dragons, unicorns, elementals. Um, those of you who don't believe in that kind of thing skip this part but this is what reminded me of my vision I'm going to read to that I had earlier okay now this is I sometimes get visions when I'm awake um and they can be very very um detailed but this one was so let me just get this this was a feminine um who was holding a child and whoever I was seeing through the eyes of, now this was definitely a feminine who it was a past life memory or something I was seeing through someone else, else's eyes. Now this feminine had beautiful sort of long golden hair, really wavy down her back. Now she had on a sort of corseted style dress, maybe velvet of some kind, maybe green velvet, I think it was, I think it was green. She had on like the sort of corseted dress. And she had like long golden hair down her back, really beautiful. And her hair was kind of twisted at the side. 
but she was holding her child in her arms and she was smiling and looking down at the child in her arms and she'd hold the child up and smile and then she'd bring the child down and cuddle into the child and give it so much love and whoever was watching this was watching them both with so much reverie um, and I thought this is someone, this, there could be a baby here who this couple had in past lives who are really important in this lifetime or this is, this, so a spirit baby could be bringing their mum and dad back together here basically because there was a beautiful feminine with long golden hair, hair was, as I say I wouldn't say it was like curly but it was kind of wavy, kind of blondy browny, um, really kind of right down her back um, and she was wearing some sort of corseted style dress. Now, I, I, for some reason, I I don't know why I had it in my mind that she could have been like some sort of Irish princess or something. Um, but cause that's what she reminded me of when I saw the vision, but she doesn't have to be an Irish princess, but <laughs> that was the energy I got. Can you tell me a bit more about this beautiful couple's energy I'm picking up on here? And then I'll get some some love and romance cards. I'll get some Gateway of Light cards and some love and romance cards. Can I get wars and battles? So I definitely was feeling there was something that tore tore this lovers apart. Now, as I say, I do feel there was some sort of karmic here, but there, I definitely feel there was some sort of tragedy as well. Just by the way, because when the person and the person in the dream, I felt like they were looking at this person like with love and reverie, but there was also a hint of sadness. And I thought, I wonder if this person's going off to war. They're worried they're never going to see their beloved again. That is the energy I felt. Kind of like so much love, but also a sadness as well. And I'm actually feeling it again now. Um, food and hunger. So somebody could have, somebody, a child could have been left orphaned through this couple. Now, not anything deliberate. This couple, this um, masculine feminine energy could have died, and their, um, or maybe the feminine was left to go hungry with her child or something because our masculine didn't return from the wars and battles, something like that. I do feel starvation something happened here yeah there's some sort of mm, some sort of health issues maybe it was like to do like scarlet fever or malaria or something something like a very common illness in those days that maybe was to do with not eating properly or eating kind of contaminated um or drinking contaminated water or something like that um, I just feel it's something to do with not having enough food and also so forgiveness forgiveness something has to be forgiven now that card can be quite a lot in past lives because I generally think um, there's always someone you have to forgive from your past lives whether it's a mother or a father or a karmic energy, there's some there's always a contract of forgiveness generally needs to be closed out. So that's why I always say whoever you're holding on to grudges in this life with, whether it's karmic family, karmic friends, um so unrequited love, weaving and finances. So Maybe someone has to forgive someone for leaving them in the past. Now, this could have been this feminine I picked up on with the child. This masculine could have been off and left her. Could have left her penniless. Um, and maybe her and her child um, perished here. There's something to do with a financial blessing coming in in this lifetime. Unrequited love. So, or me, and I just saw the father card. So this could be a child who felt like their father didn't love them because maybe they grew up just with their mother on their own or something. They felt like their father didn't show them any love. So this could be playing out in present day with someone who's maybe got father wounds or mother wounds or something. Um, I'm, I, I do definitely see this woman and her child. Something happened here. Somebody needs to forgive. Maybe they need to forgive someone for abandoning them with their child. And leaving them to starve. 
karmic so definitely with a karmic here trees now we did get the, the child of nature so this masculine and this feminine are both equally um full of wisdom and connected to nature in some way both very magical mystical people anything else no they're saying no i keep on seeing the imprisonment and slavery card though I know this is quite a weird thing to say, but I have to say what comes through. This feminine could have thought this masculine just abandoned them and their child, but he was actually imprisoned or enslaved and that's why he never made it back. And then by the time he got back, they could have passed away. Maybe the, maybe um, this masculine has to forgive himself. And I'm really getting loud whistling in my ear now when I'm saying that. This masculine could have been imprisoned and his feminine just thought this, the female I saw in my vision just thought he wasn't returning and he'd abandoned them and their child. Yeah. Like I'm literally like, ooh, as soon as I said that. <laughs> that definitely could be it. Um, I'll get some of these cards here and let's see a wee bit more about what's going on in the 3D and then I'll get a gateway of light and a relationship card I'll try and think what else I have my no communication deck as well but I'll see because I, I might not need it if this um, can you give me some cards for this connection please what time are we on wow <laughs> I don't know how the time flies every time so can I get some can I get some cards for this connection So this, this is a couple who are getting another chance here. Now, I know from what I saw today, there was a masculine totally adored um, this, this person who I believe was their, their true love, their soulmate, their twin flame, past life. There's something here got in the way of them coming out. It could have been the lies of a karmic. The karmic could have told the feminine that the masculine didn't love her or something. Um... But really he was in prison. There was definitely some something underhand here kept this couple apart. Can I get some details on what's going on in the 3D for this connection now, please? What's going on in the 3D for this connection, please? <sighs> My fantasy. You think the, the masculine doesn't care about you, feminine? And I think you're literally all they care about. You're all they're focused on. So let me just get my glasses on. Um, so it says, you're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and I use them for inspiration. I want you. Now we don't need to go into what the inspiration is. I think we all know. So we'll skip that one. Um, but yeah, this masculine is definitely fantasizing about a life with you. You're mine. So it says, I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. It is, it is is this toxic? Yeah, I don't care. I want the world to know that you're mine. So this masculine definitely is now, they're fixated only on you, feminine. <laughs> no one compares. So it says, no matter how many people I've met and experienced, there's no one that compares to you. So this this was a Don Juan energy who definitely um, liked to play the field, but he's real, realising feminine that there's absolutely no one no one compares to you. Nothing compares. So yeah, Mathlin knows that nothing or no one compares to you. So yeah, there's a powerful past life energy coming in here. You feel like home. You are home to this masculine. You blasted, you blasted the darkness out of him <laughs> or her. I do feel it's a him though, to be fair. So being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring so much happiness and peace. That's because you guys have done this many times. You are this masculine's home. You are at home to them. So I am single, twin flame. It's simple really. So it says, I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone else and I am not looking to get into a relationship at this time. This masculine's going through a dark night of the soul awakening. It, they're they're coming into their their spiritual gifts right now, and I can feel that. 
Um, twin flame, you activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. You did heal this masculine. You did. It's simple, really. How do I feel? I want you. I want us. Whatever. And I do feel that. And it's just when you give up. <laughs> You are perfection. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I how I attracted someone like you, but I'm forever grateful for it. And I, I said in the vision, this mask was looking at this beautiful feminine with her child, smiling down at her child, and I just felt so much love um, pouring out of them for you in that moment. Wild side, there's a side to you I haven't seen yet and I want to. I want to see you. Let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. So the masculine tell, can tell you're very pure at heart here, feminine. You could be very pure, very kind, very compassionate, but they know that you have a bit of a shadow side. You don't let out very often. But I do feel this, when you come back with your twin, that is you're basically balancing your light and your shadow out. So... I do feel maybe this masculine will get to see another side of you. Won't just get to see the pure, the pure um, angelic side. I'm sure they'll have a bit of fun together. This this twin flame connection, but um, that's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, powerful love and definitely powerful Kundalini energy. So. I kept on seeing this card and I actually saw this card in my third eye this afternoon. So I knew it was going to come out eventually. I'm acting like I don't care about what happened with Sheena's, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. So that's why you wanted to give up on this person because they actually showed like they didn't care. They didn't. Sh they showed that they didn't care. <laughs> Let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future so this person is saying can you finally let go of all the mistakes we've made they've messed up big time here but they're single they're coming back they're working on themselves they are now investing all their time and energy into you and into this connection but it, it's not until you are about to give up on them completely and if you haven't already <laughs> nervous run away yeah this person is nervous they are nervous but they do want you to run away together and the gaslighting you remember i said this masculine could have been making fun of you for your spiritual gifts or something when actually this masculine has spiritual gifts and i think they're going to explain that to you they're going to say look i made fun of you for saying you were connected to the angels and you um, just saying no one compares again. This mask can say I'm really sorry for, for saying that you were crazy, for talking to angels and <laughs> saying you had visions and stuff like that because I'm now getting the same thing. I feel that's what you're about to find out from this masculine. They're going to say words to that effect. You know, I, I made fool of you, I made fun of you, but actually I've been experiencing the exact same thing. So let's see which gateway of light cards here and I, I kept seeing a scarab beetle today as well which is another card of good fortune and abundance and definitely rebirth as well um so let me see one more shuffle and i'll have a couple of cards out for this twin flame couple I'm on now. Not really. that's as nearly there so can i get some gateway of light cards for this twin flame couple please So inner earth, it says um, base chakra, strength and security, loving foundations. This masculine is going through some sort of root chakra, healing, cleansing, and probably to do with the sacral as well, but I'm feeling root chakra now. The root chakra is your connection to the earth and we did get this masculine very connected to nature as it is feminine. So there's definitely some sort of grounding and root chakra cleansing and upgrading going on here, which is Archangel Michael will be working on that as we speak. The wonderful Archangel Michael. So let's see. Sacred inner space. Sacred, um, sacral chakra. Did I not just say probably the sacral chakra as well? Sacral chakra, tenderness and sensuality. So both the root and the sacral chakra here are both getting cleansed. Um, 
they're both getting cleansed, balanced out. This masculine definitely had some blockages with regards to their grounding and definitely in the, sorry, my sleeves are both, um, definitely some issues with the, the root and sh uh, sacral area, but they're both getting worked on right now. And with both of these, that'll elevate this masculine's personal power as well within themselves and, and make them less likely to be, uh, to attract in, the the um wrong energies as well yeah um any other cards for this connection this masculine or feminine energies <sighs> i don't believe that i just talking about the the scarab beetle i kept seeing today and there's a scarab beetle on this card the central sun, abundance, downloads, regeneration and success. Wow. Uh, honestly, my whole body is strumming with energy right now. This, amazing. This couple. This couple, this is such an amazing reading. The order, oh my goodness. I had Melk oh my goodness, I had Melk as Melchizedek the other night. Um come through to me, his energy come through to me during my meditation. I knew he was working heavily with a twin flame couple. Embraced by light, mission uncovered, don't give up. <laughs> oh my goodness. I honestly, my, my whole, my whole body is strumming with energy right now. This is beautiful. Wow, this is power couple vibes here for sure. Anything else please? So if this couple are working with um, Melchizedek, Melchizedek is obviously, the order of Melchizedek is like the powerful high priest, high priestess energy as well. Like, you know, um, Lord Jesus is part of the order of Melchizedek too. So, and lots of other um, powerful ascended masters. I mean, it's it's the order of light. It is, you, you're officially a pillar of light to the world when you are working with Melchizedek or Mel Milk. I think it's Melchizedek or Melchizedek, but something like that. But anyway, he is, he is um, the very first known high priest as well. And he's mentioned in the Bible. I think it's Hebrews. Um, he's mentioned there. Um, but he, he's basically a mentor to, to Lord Jesus or was a mentor to Lord Jesus as well. And I'm sure still is. Sword of Light, Divine Protection, Cords Cut, Breakthrough Energy, yeah. I felt this. I told you there's, they're cutting the karmic cords with this masculine all around him right now so he can step fully into his power. And he is powerful. He is powerful, like the sun here, um, for sure. And feminine, don't give up on him or give up on him because maybe that's what's going to make him rush in <laughs> whatever you want. I can tell you though, whoever this is, um, whoever the feminine is speaking to, you've done amazing. You, I mean, to get your masculine to this point is such an achievement in itself. So let me see. Right, we're over there. So let's, we'll do these cards and then... Um, I'll get a no communication card from my own deck and see what comes through. Okay. Can I get um some angelic love and relationship cards for this connection? What's coming in for this couple in the near future? admitting so this masculine is definitely going to be coming in here to admit to you that they were wrong for they, they were wrong for i feel as i said that they definitely made fun of you feminine or something or made out like you they got they were gaslighting you and they're coming in to admit they were wrong because now they're experiencing exactly the same thing i think they want to talk to you about it um sacrifice so Great love requires great sacrifice. Feminine, you may have sacrificed your love for this person in order to push them. Yeah, you released your expectations. You sacrificed your love for them. 
and that is what's making this man face back. Wow, I, I'm honestly, I'm getting so much energy in my hands just seeing that you, you sacrificed your love for them and you walked away and you let go of the expectations and I'm telling you now, Divine Feminine is watching. That is what we have to do. We have to let go of the expectations and finding out every single detail, when it's going to happen, when they come back. That's not just... You know, watching them on social media, watching what they're doing with their karmic energy, this is all holding you back. When you actually let go of the need to know everything and when you expect things to happen, that is when they start to manifest and this feminine has done that. Um, anything else for this connection, please? Anything else for this connection, please and thank you. Anything else for this connection before I get a no communication card? Anything else? Transformation. I, I I told you this connection is transforming. Feminine, you may have given up on expectations of this person ever coming back. And that is what is manifesting with transformation right now. And heaven card there. So this is definitely, yeah, this masculine is now understanding this connection and valuing the connection they have with you. They know you're their angel. They know you are their angel. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to go with my glasses because I'm, I'm getting an emotional wreck here. <sighs> Anything else for this connection, please? Wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, you're both going to have all your wishes granted here. Gratitude, keep being grateful for everything, even the small things. I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for the raindrops. I'm grateful for the, the every blade of grass. I'm grateful to have fresh water for my children now to drink. Everything. And it's bringing in this energy feminine. <sighs> return. And it's all happening in divine timing. Your person's about to return here. Give me one more card. Give me one more card for this powerful connection. <sighs> Chemistry. Yeah. I, I feel it. I feel it. As I say, my I've, I've, my body's throbbing with energy with this connection. It's beautiful. Um, anything else? Sincere and mistakes. This masculine has made mistakes. They have made mistakes. They judged you feminine. They gaslighted you. They rejected you. They were harsh towards you and maybe the way they treated you. But they now know. They're coming in sincere. They now they now know. They they're on some sort of spiritual journey with you. They know now that you and them have definitely got some sort of so free will and honesty. So this this person is coming back, feminine, but you always have your free will here. You always have your free will, but they're they're saying this person is coming in to speak their truth to you. Um and it's worth hearing them out. It's definitely worth hearing them out. And I just saw the... So you're definitely both in separation, which is obvious. Forgive. Now, so this person is going to come in here. They're going to be honest. They are going to speak the truth to you. They are going to be sincere. They're going to tell you everything that's went on. Everything that they... As I say, everything that they um could have said or gas, gaslight you about that you were crazy, you're imagining things, whatever, they're now coming in to tell you that they're experiencing the same thing. Faithfulness, affection. They're coming in here to offer it all to you, but you have free will, family. So, you know, no one, if, once you do the work, I just split the deck on commitment. Once you do the work, feminines, there's no pressure to be with your person in the 3D and it's, you do have free will, so, um, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, there will never be. You would, once you've had a twin flame connection, no other love will compare. So can I get a can I get a no communication card from this masculine to feminine? And I know he's saying once you give up on me, or when you're about to give up on me. So I want to give you the world and more. This person does want to give you the world. I can tell you that right now. They adore you. You saved them. I never cry. My emotions are always hidden. But I've been so emotional throughout this entire reading. So if you if you said to this person, 
you're not even upset to lose me or something. It's because they had that emotion. But trust me, they're they're crying now. Yeah, yeah, they're like they're like Bridget Jones, you know. <laughs> they're lying on a couch watching old movies, probably a wonderful life or something, crying over you as we speak. Um, this person they missed the heck out of you as well. Every time I get a notification on my phone, I hope it's you. Yeah, this I'm telling you, this masculine misses you so so much. Can I get um give me a couple more, please? Give me a couple more to close out this reading. A couple more this masculine wants to say to this feminine. I feel the power, the powerful love they have for you here. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So I want to change, but I am surrounded by toxic people who keep me stuck. Now I feel this is past energy because your person is now in hermit mode. They were in networker energy, now they're in hermit mode. So I think they were surrounded by a lot of um, whoever this uh, vampire, um, distorted feminine energy around them. But it was maybe their friends as well. I remember exactly who I am. That came out last night as well. Um, so this person is definitely remembering who they are. So I pushed you away so I didn't need to face my own demons now. Right at the start of this reading I said there was a feminine here I felt that blasted the demons out of this masculine. They ran from you because your light was too bright for them feminine. <laughs> but now I feel they're shining their own light. You're both both in the light now which is amazing. Well, I've got lots of good goosebumps. Um, what a powerful, what a powerful reading. Like, one more, one more card, please. So they gave me, <laughs> I knew they'd give me two. <laughs> too much drama around me, I'm trying to protect you. So the masculine is trying to clear out any karmic, toxic karmic energies around them. I feel that the, remember we got the, the sword of light. So Archangel Michael is cutting those cords right, left and centre to cut off any kind of karmic energies that are keeping this masculine stuck from returning to feminine. The grass was not greener, you were right. <laughs> so feminine, have you told your masculine? Um, I know we have shared many past lives together. I just struggle to understand it. Yeah, this masculine knows now that you have a very powerful past life connection. They just sometimes, as I say, they struggle to see what you saw, but now their gifts are starting to come in here. So they're now starting to understand exactly what you've been saying to them all along. Um, but they're definitely protecting you. But you may have said to this masculine, the grass won't be greener. You push me away. You don't want me. You want them instead, but the grass won't be greener or something or, you know, you're always looking for greener grass and this person's letting you know you were right the grass was not greener so will you be mine forever i am an earth angel or starseed i told you <laughs> oh my goodness that honestly i i'm ending there i'm just i'm just blown away sometimes by my my guides are so amazing i really have the, the best guides in the world they're so they're so phenomenal at guiding me through these messages and it actually makes me quite emotional because i really could not do any of this without them but i'm glad it's helping people and from judging by the emails and stuff i've been getting it is helping so that's all i'm here to do and that just makes me so happy i'm here i'm a champion of love and i'm here if i'm helping people move back towards their their connections and see their twin flames in a different light then that is a win for me. That is a win for me. So take care, everyone. Lots of love and light. I'm going to go and have an emotional breakdown. I just feel so emotional after that. But thank you so much. And I truly send you all so much love and light. And I pray for you all. And I pray your unions come in soon. I really do. Let's think positive, guys. Let's think twin flame unions are happening now. Twin flame unions are happening now. Keep saying that. So take care. Namaste.